Hello everyone, Brock Trotter, Chemical Engineer with PIMI Consulting, and today I'm going to be telling you all about the API 653 Reporting Workbook developed by PIMI Consulting, and as well how it can make tank inspection analysis more simple and accurate. First off, we'll go over what the workbook does. So basically, the workbook is able to perform all the calculations associated with an API 653 tank inspection and all the analysis associated with those different and independent sections of API 653. This includes all the calculations for differential settlement, alternative settlement, edge settlement, shell plumbness, bottom corrosion or period until next inspection, internal bottom bulges, repair of fixed roofs, welded shell thickness requirements, as well as riveted shell thickness requirements. Now, the number one thing uh, we're trying to get across in this video is how this workbook is superior to the alternatives that are available. So whenever we were first developing this, we got our team together at PIMI Consulting, which is composed of a team of engineers as well as statisticians uh, that are experienced in the tank industry. We developed this workbook and then we began to run tests against existing tank reports and available tank data. Throughout that proof testing phase, we realized that several API 653 workbook tools and other inspection company workbooks produce results that are inaccurate, sometimes overestimating the requirements and sometimes underestimating the requirements. Any inaccuracy in tank data analysis either jeopardizes the structural integrity of the tank or results in excess expense by owners. Further, the hierarchical structure of the workbook we've developed and the programming behind it allows a user to change a single cell value and have the results propagate through the workbook. So to give you an example, if a user runs a spreadsheet with the wrong tank diameter, then he or she simply has to go to the initial page in the spreadsheet, change that diameter value, and all downstream calculations will adjust to represent the new diameter value. Further, we've uh, incorporated a number of drop-down menus for material type, joint type, and other factors related to the API 653 inspections. This makes the physical properties adjust automatically as well as some of the equations are dynamic in an if-then structure to address the different types of uh, tanks, roofs, and other scenarios that may be present. So another thing that we think makes our uh, workbook superior to some of the existing method methods are the graphics that we produce and they are produced with an automated approach. So for example, what we're looking at on this slide is the cosine curve, first order, uh, represented here by this. Uh, we noticed throughout our analysis that there are several inspection companies that perform the cosine curve inaccurately. It's very common to map the highest point and the lowest point and to perform it that way. And that does not minimize the R squared value, which results in inaccurate results and can sometimes even fail a tank bottom that uh, is uh, failed unnecessarily. It could be perfectly safe for continued use. Likewise, here's the perspective rigid tilt of the tank. This shows you uh, the tilt of the tank as well as the dip and strike. Further, here's some more graphics. This shows you the results of the welded shell thickness tab. This blue line represents the safe fill height across a variety of specific gravities. The yellow line represents the specific gravity that's specified by the user. As well, the gray is the shell height and the orange is the user specified fill height resulting in this red X, which is our operating point. If the operating point's below the blue line, then we know that it's below the safe fill height required by API 653, and we know that the tank is gonna be safe for continued use. Further, we have parallel edge settlement and the exact, uh, very similar concepts at play here where we have the variety of diameters that are represented in the standard for the parallel edge settlement. And here we've mapped all the different points moving along the radius of settled area and we develop this chart, which we're then able to go in and see exactly which points are above the allowable diameter based on API 653. Now we have some options for how we can provide this service to different companies as well. PIMI Consulting can perform the API 653 tank analysis for companies and inspection agencies if they provide the data set, and we can do that for some set price uh, up front. And further, PIMI Consulting licenses uh, the API 653 reporting book for a low annual cost. We do this with several inspection agencies currently, and it's a tool that they've found very valuable to their uh, company, and it saves them quite a bit of time, and it's improved their results uh, significantly in some cases. 
The annual renew provides also online demonstrations for training and customer service for questions and concerns regarding the software. For contact information, please visit our website, www.pemiconsulting.com, for more videos, tools, papers, and information regarding tanks, piping, and pressure vessels. Further, you can always uh, email me, Brock Trotter, at brock at pemiconsulting.com to set up a demonstration or request additional pricing. As well, you can also email Philip Myers or Seth Myers at the following email addresses to ask about any of our other services, pricing, or anything else regarding PimmyConsulting.com. Thank you, and we look forward to working with you in the future. This is Brock Trotter signing off. Have an excellent day.